This man is Alfred Jones, a fishery expert who had difficulty communicating. His boss named Sugden asks Alfred to meet a woman named Harriet to discuss the salmon fishing project in Yemen. Unfortunately, Alfred refused it, because to him, the project was just a joke. Yemen was mostly covered with desert and such a project would be impossible to finish, but Sugden kept forcing him to meet with Harriet. Alfred finally met Harriet in his office. Without further ado, Alfred explained that this project was impossible because Yemen is a desert area that lacks of water. Harriet argued that Yemen had never lacked water. They even built a big dam to preserve water. Hearing that, Alfred couldn't say anything but kept silent. Alfred returned to his office and met his boss, Sugden. There, Sugden forced Alfred to sign the project permit. Alfred refused because he still didn't want to work on the project, but Sugden kept pushing him with a lot of money until Alfred finally agreed to sign the project permit. The next day, Alfred presented his idea for the salmon fishing project in front of Harriet. Even though Alfred gave a sarcastic presentation, Harriet praised his intelligence and asked for the fund they needed to make it happen. Alfred mentioned a big sum of money, $50 million, for the whole project. Despite the massive number that Alfred just mentioned, Harriet agreed to it. Harriet assured Alfred that this project would succeed. Alfred then proceeded to ask Harriet for her best men to make this ambitious project happen. Harriet agreed to Alfred's request and told him to be ready. She said that the financier would like to see him in a few days to talk about the project. Long story short, Alfred met with Patricia Maxwell, the Prime Minister's publicist. The reason for their meeting was to discuss the salmon fishing project. Alfred told her that he needed 10,000 salmon sent for the project in Yemen. Maxwell agreed and told Alfred that now, the project had become their top priority. A few days later, Alfred met with Sheikh Mohammed, the man behind the fund, who was very obsessed with the project. The Sheikh praised Alfred for finding one of the best types of bait for fishing. The two of them fished together and started telling life stories, faith, and fish. Suddenly the Sheikh's pole got a strike. At night, the sheik chatted with Alfred and Harriet. At that time, Harriet looked sad. It turned out that she was thinking about her boyfriend who was on the battlefield, serving in the army. Her boyfriend had been fighting for a while, but she had no news about him. On the other hand, Alfred was also having a problematic relationship with his wife. Hearing that, the sheik asked them to take some rest. In his office, Sugden was contacting his friend to bring 10,000 salmons to Yemen, Unfortunately, his friend refused, saying such a thing would be impossible to do. On the other hand, Alfred was surprised by Harriet. She informed him that the dam technician from China was present in his office. Both of them nervously explained the project details to the technicians. During lunch with Alfred, Harriet was shocked by the news about her boyfriend. A call saying that her boyfriend had gone disappeared on the battlefield. She was shocked. Alfred then tried to calm her down. Long story short, Alfred came to Harriet's residence. She had been absent for three days. She locked herself in her room. Alfred came and brought her a sandwich. He then forced her to eat because he knew she hadn't been eating anything for days and it could harm her health. Thanks to Alfred, Harriet finally willed to eat. At that moment, both of them talked about their lives. Alfred also told her that by the next day, he would have to go to Yemen. He tried to persuade Harriet to come with him. Alfred reasoned that no one else could replace her. She had shown a good work attitude and helped him a lot. Hearing that made Harriet's day. She finally showed her smile. Arriving in Yemen, Alfred and Harriet saw the sheik, who was arguing with one of his men. Sheik apologized for making his two guests see something embarrassing. The sheik took them to see the fishing area and the project finally started its progress. On the other place, in the office, Sugden hadn't given up on asking his colleagues to help him provide the 10,000 salmons for the project. Sadly, despite his effort, the media instead reported bad news about the salmon fishing project in Yemen. A few days later, Maxwell came to the Sheik's mansion for lunch and business talk. She took the Sheik, Alfred, and Harriet to see the salmons in captivity. At that moment, the Sheik was offered a cooperation by Maxwell. She offered to supply the salmon from captivity for the fishing project but the Sheik refused. The cooperation was turned down. Alfred and Sheik decided to fish to calm their mind after the day. Unfortunately, a man suddenly attacked the Sheik, but thanks to Alfred, the man didn't manage to land his attack on the Sheik. Mohammed bin Saadi! Are you okay? Are you okay? 
Not long after, the guards managed to catch the man who tried the attack. The sheik thanked Alfred and promised to repay his kindness one day. He then left with his bodyguards. After the incident, Alfred accompanied Harriet. She was sad to see the news about the war victims on TV. Alfred tried to calm her down and accompanied her until she fell asleep in her room. When the morning came, Alfred left her who was still asleep. Alfred returned to his house and was surprised to see his wife was already there waiting for him. Alfred's wife looked unhappy when she found out that her husband had resigned from work. Even more, she felt jealous when she found out that Alfred had fallen in love with Harriet. She then left him alone. Alfred then went to meet Harriet and the Sheik. He proposed that cooperation with the captivity would be a good move. He said that carrying the salmon from captivity wouldn't be a problem at all. Then, the helicopter that carried the salmons from captivity arrived in Yemen. Alfred was happy because the salmons had survived the shipment. At night in Yemen, Alfred and Harriet swim in the fishing grounds. Harriet thanked him for involving her in the project. The project saved her from sadness after she lost her boyfriend. Surprisingly Alfred conveyed his feelings to Harriet. She was happy to hear that but she told him that she needed some more time to think about it. The next day, Maxwell with the Prime Minister and the media visited the project grounds in Yemen to meet the Sheik to establish a cooperation relationship. On the other hand, Alfred and Harriet were having a conversation. Alfred introduced her to his new fishing bait which he named after her name, Harriet. Not long after, a military helicopter appeared which dropped Harriet's boyfriend. She ran towards her boyfriend and hugged him tightly while Alfred could only hold back his jealousy. The media were covering the sheik who was giving a speech to officially inaugurate the salmon fishing spot in Yemen. Alfred and Harriet were standing side by side but they looked awkward. The sheik then ordered his men to release the salmons into the waters. They looked panicked because the salmon swam in the wrong direction, but suddenly, the salmon started swimming upstream of the river and managed to swim freely. Alfred, Harriet, and the Sheik embraced to celebrate their success. At the same time, some people infiltrated the dam and released a very large amount of water. When the Prime Minister, Harriet's boyfriend, the Sheik, and Alfred were fishing, they were surprised by the massive wave from the dam approaching them from the upstream. Alfred and the Sheik were almost carried away by the current, but they managed to save themselves. Because of that incident, the fishing grounds were ruined. They couldn't do anything but hold back their sadness, seeing their months of hard work shattered in an instant. During the night, around the campfire, the sheik admitted that he knew the culprit behind all this, but he didn't want to catch him. The sheik invited Harriet and Alfred to build the salmon fishing place again from scratch. Alfred agreed because now he didn't have a place to go home while Harriet chose to return home because her boyfriend asked her to go home with him. The next day, Harriet who was getting ready to return to her country, said goodbye to Alfred. Apparently, Alfred chose to go home too, because now, Harriet, his only reason to stay there, was no longer in Yemen. They don't even have any salmon that survived the incident before. Shortly after, a miracle happened. They're alive! A big salmon jumped out of the water. Alfred and Harriet couldn't contain their happiness when they saw that there were still salmons that survived after the incident. Harriet then offered to be Alfred's assistant and they chose to stay in Yemen to build the salmon fishing project from scratch together.